hello guys so in this video i'm going to go further into the explanation of how of the nature of god and the collective nature of god and by the end of the video you should have a sort of new light into the activity of manifesting things found God in the desert in the burning bush and he asked who are you and God replied and God replied by saying I am the fire should have given a sort of hint on the nature of God the fire is symbolic but fire does not come as an individual. Fire comes as a collective. Is is the collective of of the flames that we point at and form as one and say that's fire. Now Moses means to draw out, to draw out. That's the allegorical meaning of Moses. Or if you go to to the Hebrew root word. Moses means to draw, and that means that is that represents your own awareness, as your awareness was drawn out of the of on the unconscious. That is how you are you are Moses. Your awareness is Moses that was drawn out of the unconscious. You didn't know anything about it. All of a sudden, you found yourself here. That is you being drawn out, and now that you are drawn out, you have. Perhaps not for everybody, but for some who have, you know, lost everything in Egypt or the outside world and have gone within, will come to the desert to find God. And when you find God, you will find God as I am, as yourself. Now, this God that is saying I am, is not an individual anything that moves in reality is not an individual it it's not an a single thing it's always comes in compilations and collective there is only one single thing in existence and that single thing is source the nothingness the emptiness Nothingness is just that, it just is. But God, on the other hand, the projection of the nothingness creates in itself infinite collectives. And these collectives play out everywhere. For example, your body is a collective. Have you, have, you, have you ever thought about it? That your body is a compilation of collectives. You are not just one. The collective comes as a whole to create an illusion of, of an individual. But the real individual is the nothingness within you. But the collective now plays a role and marks the individual, the real individual, and makes that individual appear to be one single person. So that if I say, are you? Yeah. You say, yes, I am. And then in your mind, you feel like, you feel like that is a person. But in nature, when you observe nature, you don't see one person. You don't see one thing. If I have a, if I if I take pick up my book, a book, any book, the book is not one thing. It's a compilation of plenty things. Same thing with everything in existence. Same thing with your thought processes. 
when thinking is going on in your mind, happening in your mind, it is not that there is you thinking. It is a collective, a, f a sort of play within the nothingness that is you. So this is how that works is this. There is, let's use the example, I am wealthy. I am, I, the I am, and then wealthy. Now, I explained earlier that I am is God, God which represents your awareness of being. It is because you are aware of being, that is why you are capable of saying I am. You, the awareness of being itself is not, is not limited to its own being. It is beyond it. There is no, there is no, there is no talking about it. There is, it's nothing. There, there's nothing there to talk about. But whenever it comes into being, it comes and appears as a form, and it's capable of saying "I am." But that "I am" is a collective. Your awareness is a collective, and it is the one true collective, the Almighty God collective. Your "I amness." And then wealth also. When you think of wealth, do you think of one particular thing or the experience of wealth? The experience of wealth is what will cause anybody to say I am wealthy. And the experience of wealth is not one particular thing. It's a collective. So I am the illusion of God is a collective and is an eternal collective. And any other thing that is attached to that I am it's also a collective, but it's a, it's a form, it's, a, it's limited, and it's a play that goes on. There's this one collective here who is appearing to be internal, and then there's this other collective here who is appearing to be limited. And then the internal is able to look at the limited, and as limited comes and goes, you know, different forms appears, disappears, the I am is keeps watch. Of it so whenever you want something who is wanting it is it you that explanation should probably have exposed a trick in the matrix and the trick is that anything that you want does it you 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 the individual cannot want something but the experience of wanting is and that experience is a collective thing there is no there is no haha i am now there it doesn't exist because it's a collective thing and the collective must continue to change form but the collective of i am it also changes form but i think that's like a whole other topic but it's formless and it observes the collective that is changing form. So whenever you want something, you can be rest assured that you already have, as soon as the knowledge of wanting something appears, you can be rest assured that you already have it. Why? Because you know that the whole movement of wanting something and getting it is a play, it's a, it's a, it's a movie. A living movie that you are watching as the I am okay and all the power and the wisdom and glory and of this movie rest within the divine which is empty of all things the divine doesn't need anything it doesn't it cannot want it what would the divine want it is made up of nothing so it cannot want anything but if it wants something, that means it is something, and so it is not the divine. That is the ego. So you and God are one. You and God are one. Awareness and awareness of being something is one. But awareness of being something is limited and always changes. It's playing that role of limitation so that there can be a sort of game, a, a play. That has nothing to do with you. 
you the individual are the emptiness the nothingness observing it all and we, when you understand this you can simply you can you can you can make your perception perceive what you want as being already you know it's already it already is and you don't need to look for anything outside to validate what you have already decided is in your own art because it's a movie a movie is something that starts you know continues and then at the end of the day everybody is happy or depending on the nature of the movie depending on how faithful you are to your um holding holding what you want as reality within you i hope this helps